The term nuclear just refers to any reaction that involves the nucleus of the atom. A fission reaction is where you take the big elements, and if a neutron hits them, they're unstable enough that they split into two, and that's lower mass than you started with, and so a lot of energy is given off. There's the famous equation, energy equals mc squared. So a little bit of mass reduction gives you a lot of energy. Of course, if you do that very, very quickly, that's a nuclear bomb, so that's not good. You want to take the heat in a controlled way, use that heat to generate electricity. Each molecule of uranium generates millions of times more heat than just, say, burning gasoline, which should lead to economical electricity. Now, you have to do that in a way that you have extremely strong safety. You have to buy the fuel. You have to deal with the waste, tear power, by being able to do simulations, because software had come along, we were able to see that a new design would work extremely well, and we've been pursuing that. We'll actually have it in operation about five years from now if we stay on schedule. Then there's fusion, where you're taking small atoms and the temperature is very hot. So these small hydrogen nuclei run into each other and fuse together and they make a helium nucleus whose mass is a little bit less than the two hydrogen nuclei. And so the amount of energy that's given off is very large. Fusion requires temperatures that are, depending on the reaction, tens of millions of degrees. Achieving those temperatures and getting a net energy output is hard, but there's some fantastic companies that are putting that into commercial products including uh, Commonwealth Fusion Systems that uses a bottle called a tokamak to do that. And that fusion reaction, that's how the sun works, but you know now we're going to do fusion here on Earth. Once you actually have the next generation fission and you finally get a fusion reactor that's making commercial electricity, they will compete on price. The more designs we have that work, the more likelihood we'll be able to get the cost of electricity to be a lot lower than it is today. And the sooner we'll be able to provide reliable energy to the entire world.